Hi folks, Don Bailey. I am really geeked today and I'm excited to share with you a trick on the OD grinder and those of you that are old machinists, you know an OD grinder is an outside diameter. Uh, that's what OD stands for. Uh, uh, grinding machine. Anyway, the OD grinder is one that I ran for a lot of years and I learned a lot of tricks from it. I worked with a guy that was a, you know, a true genius. This guy was an amazing guy. And he taught me a trick on how do you get the taper out because as you know uh, when you first start grinding on the OD grinder there's a taper in there that you can't get out right away there's it's you know it's almost impossible to get it out without grinding apart first checking it and see how it works and if it looks like the tapers out that's fine if it's not you got to tweak it a little bit so I'm going to take you out back and I'm going to show you how to do that but but what we're going to do is we're going to end up grinding apart you guys think about that I want you you tool makers out there that run an OD grinder think about this how do you get the taper out without grinding the part or without grinding a dummy part it's a cool question and I know how to do it and I'm going to share it with you guys it's so cool is it going to be dead accurate no but you can get it out within a few tenths, which is good enough. Why do you need to do it that way? Well, first of all, it saves a lot of time. Remember we talked about being the best you can and, and showing your boss that you're a valuable employee? This is just another way to do that. This is going to help you be a more valuable employee because it's going to make you faster and better. How about this? A boss comes up to you and he gives you a shaft and it's got a thousands left of stock, a thousands left of stock. And you got you, you got to get the taper out now. You're going to go put in the OD grinder and say, "Holy crap! How am I going to get the taper out?" This is a way to do it. So now you can get the taper out without grinding the part. And I'm excited to take you back there and show it to you. So let's go up back, Glenn. You ready? Oh yeah. Let's roll. Okay, Glenn. As you can see, we have an array of centers right here. If you want to get a shot of that, these are the various kinds of centers that we can choose from in selecting the ones that we need that are appropriate for the job that we're doing. So if you step over here, I'll show you what I chose. I chose a solid center here and another solid center here. Why? Because this is as big a diameter as I'm going to use. Could I have selected different ones? Yes, but this was my choice. So I also needed one that was long enough to get the wheel off to one side, like so. So the trick, remember, was how do we get the taper out? What do I mean by the taper? When you set up an OD grinder, you're going to grind the taper in it whether you like it or not because the machine, as it, weigh, as it wears over time, the, the weighs right here in the tailstock uh, wear and it moves in and out. So when you move the tailstock in and out for different, di or different size pieces, you're going to change the taper in the machine because the weighs are worn. In a new machine, it still does it, but not quite as much as an older machine. So, how do we get the taper out? Well, Glenn, take a shot of this. Right here is a knob that actually pivots this table. This table, right about in the center, which is somewhere in here, has a pivot on it. So this section from here up will move. You can kind of see, there's one of the locks on one side, and here's a lock on the other side. So we're going to get the taper out. Well, the, the normal way that everybody does it is they take this piece, they put it in, they grind it. And they say, oh, it's off another two or three thousand. So now i got to move it. So then they move it, then they grind it, then they move it, then they grind it. I'm going to show you how to do it without grinding anything off of here, not using an indicator, and getting the taper out of here before you even grind it. What do you think of that? Pretty slick. That, that's a trick I learned as a toolmaker when I was a kid. Never forgot it. So, for those of you that are out there, you old timers, I'd be curious to see if you even know that this exists. But I was impressed with it. And I'll tell you, the guy that showed me this was a genius anyway in his own right. Not just as a, on the surface grinder, but the guy was a mechanical genius. Anyway, uh, so we're going to shut. We're going to start by showing you how to get the taper out of an OD grinder without grinding anything and without using an indicator. When I say without grinding anything, without grinding the part or a dummy part. We're not going to grind a dummy part either. Let me show you how it's done. So in loading the part,
we've already put oil on the centers, guys. So, you know, those of you out there watching this, say, why didn't lubricate the centers? No, we already put oil in there, but I didn't show you that we were doing it. All right, so. I love this. I love this trick. Now I'm going to do this before I even turn the machine on to get it roughed in. Glenn, you might want to come over here on the other side here. Can you can you get in here? Oh yeah. Come on over here and get in here. Aha. I'm touching the screw head of the dog. Now I'm going to reverse it. Put it on the other side. Move the table over here. And do the same thing. Now that's touching a little bit. So I know that the taper is go going to be large to small. So I need to back this off a bit. And I'm looking at where I'm at here. And when I get it close, I'm going to turn the machine on, and I'm actually going to grind this in. So we're right there at 12. Gonna do it again. Touching a little bit too much there, so I'm gonna tweak it in just a bit. All right, now I'm gonna turn the machine on. You got to be careful with this now. I've been doing this for 40 years, so I'm familiar with it. It's not a big deal. Do you have to be careful? Of course, anytime you're machining, grinding, you got to be careful. You can't be stupid about it. Remember, start at the bottom and work your way up against the wheel. You don't want to start up here and go down. Feed in, feed in, feed in, feed in. Keep doing it. Never feed in at the top. You'll catch and throw it. There's a spark. Now I'm going to move it to the other side. Remember, feed up. Now that's touching a bit too much. That's pretty damn close right there. I would say when we take a cut on this, this is probably going to be within, I'm going to guess within three tenths of being straight. So we'll go ahead and take a cut. Oops, make sure we got water coming out of here. You know what, I'm going to put some shields on here.
Now this is called plunging. And I'm going to plunge in until it cleans up. Keep enough cooling on it so it doesn't get hot. You see one little spot left there that needs to be cleaned up. And that's pretty good right about there. You can see by the sparks are nice and even. Now I'm going to walk across. Now the, the, the stock removal is on the end here, on this right hand corner of the wheel. We're probably taking off maybe four thousandths a side, something like that. It's got a curfew to steal. Yeah, that's it. I don't think that's quite cleaned up. I see a brown spot in there. Yep. I think we're cleaning it up this time. You like the sparks? Yeah, I love it. Get a good shot at it? Oh, yeah. You know, this is all about setting it up right, making the job easy. I still see another spot in there, but it's good enough to check for taper. See it right there? Yeah, maybe we'll do, take, whoops, take one more pass. Now you notice I'm moving faster now because I'm taking less stock. Yeah, no, it's taper cut. I like to pull away a little bit, so that's kind of the art form when you're pulling the tailstock away, when it's dragging off, when the wheel's coming off, when the part's coming off the wheel, it's must, less apt to create uh, a smaller diameter on the end there. So now we'll take it out and give it a check and see what we got. We got the taper within probably five tenths. I'm going to get it a little bit closer, and it's big on the right hand side. So this needs to go in. It's pretty challenging to try to turn the knob and get it just right to get it in, so I'm gonna do it a different way. Now there's other ways to it. You can put an indicator on here. You can mount an indicator and you can see what you're doing. That's the best way to do it. Unfortunately, we don't have an indicator on here, so we're gonna do it the manual way. Now I'm gonna show you how in just a second. We're gonna give it the rubber hammer treatment. We'll see if that works. This is called counting sparks. Now let's see if it gets a little heavier at this end. It looks like it is to me. Yeah, it is. So let's give it a, a look-see. That's on zero. It's within a tenth and a half to two tenths of being dead straight. So is it perfect? No, but I didn't have to make five passes to try to get the tape out. I can just tweak it a little bit now and it's done. And I have done this a long. I bet I haven't done this in 40 years, but I still remember how to do it. So that's kind of the trick to getting the taper out, again, without having to take a cut on your part. Why is that important? In this case, you could screw around with this, but look how much time I save. Look at that. If, as, as opposed to making a cut, checking it, making a cut, checking it, making a cut, checking it, I got it within a few tenths. How cool is that? Real cool. How much time does that save? Lots now, let me tell you when it's really important. Supposing you have to take off, somebody gives you this part, 
and says, "Go take this over to your machine, your OD grinder, and take off a thousands. You don't have you don't have enough stock on there to screw around trying to get the taper out, do you? Not with the thousands on there. There's no way. So you've got to either find a dummy part, grind a dummy part, or you use this method. Grinding the dog in. That's what I call it. How cool is that? So that's a trick. And I've really been excited about sharing this with all you folks out there that are OD grinders or wannabes. It's such a cool trick and nobody knows about it that I know of. Every time I talk to somebody, even the old timers that I know, they say, I, you can't possibly get the taper out of an OD grinder without grinding the part. Are well, you going to grind a dummy part? No, I'm not going to do it. So that's really one of my very, very favorite tricks. And I want to thank you for watching. Subscribe to our videos. Subscribe to our, uh, what do you call it? YouTube. Yeah, subscribe to our YouTube. That's it. And uh, tell your friends about it. Tell them to subscribe because there's a whole bunch of new tricks coming up. And so thank you and thank you for watching and keep on trucking.